Well, former President Bill Clinton was an elector, and he cast his vote today for his wife, Hillary Clinton. She, of course, did not win. But that has not stopped him from pointing the finger and blaming just about everybody other than Hillary herself. Here now is David Goodfriend, an attorney and Democratic strategist who worked for Bill Clinton in the White House. David, it's great to see you. Thanks again for having me on. Talking. Well, it's my pleasure. So, so the former president said yesterday in an interview with the Westchester, New York newspaper, that yeah. the reason his wife lost, brace yourself, angry white men. So two questions. One, isn't he an angry white man? <laughs> and two, if some Republican got up and said, you know, Obama got elected because angry black women voted for him, people would say well, that correctly. They would say that's racist. You can't say that. Why do people get away with this angry white men stuff? I well, never have understood um, that. Now, forgive me. I'm still loyal to my former boss. Yes. I'm trying to be a good guy here. Yeah. Um, I went back and looked at the numbers when you invited me to come on the show to, to, to talk about this. Right. And what I found was that... Uh, Donald Trump and Mitt Romney got almost exactly the same number of white male votes, the same right. proportion that is. Um, Hillary Clinton got a lower proportion than by about seven points than Barack Obama did. So I would, I mean, I love my former boss, President Clinton, but I think that in this case it was equally a story about a lack of turnout among some of our core constituencies and some of the really important swing states. I don't think, in other words, that it presents a complete pic picture, what he said. Now, that having been said, he then glossed over something that I think is much more relevant, and you've been focusing on it on your show. He said, yeah, and then there was the FBI and the Russians. Well, hold on a second. We've got John McCain, chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina, saying, hey, we need to focus on the fact that a foreign country tried to interfere with our election. Okay, but that on. ought to be something I mean, we let's can just, talk can about. Can we be I mean, how real do you want to be? So the, apparently our intel community, to the extent we can right. suss out what they actually and my, do. And the Greenwald segment was interesting on that. Part. It is. And Greenwald's no conservative, Absolutely just for the record. Not. No, that's right. But it is believed that the Russians started their hacking of the respective committees right. before Donald Trump announced for president. Right. Okay, so let's, I mean... There is constant hacking of American Absolutely. institutions in the private and public sectors. This is just ridiculous. Well, but, 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 can but here we can just reduce the numbers. I think are really interesting. I, I think we ought to at least have hearings about it. I think yeah, that's, okay, not that, a bad that's idea. fine. But let's stop with this McCarthy yes, idea. The, the, the hearings would actually tamp down. I think maybe. Some of I mean, I don't know. Since Obama's election in 2008, the Democratic Party has lost 11 Senate seats, 63 House seats, a dozen governorships, and more than 800 state legislative seats. So there is a problem here that goes beyond the Russians, the Electoral College, angry white men. Is anyone in the Democratic Party going to assess that? Maybe Obama is not a good thing for the Democratic Party. 800 legislative seats? Well, look, uh, I'm a good Democrat. I think our party stands for a lot of good things. But I also think that introspection and kind of figuring things out is really important. For example, in 2012, we had this post-mortem effort at the RNC. Bravo. I think that was well done, and clearly they learned something from it. I'm not sure it was the right thing, but they learned something from it. They totally I ignored think... that stupid <laughs> autopsy, and Trump did his own thing and won. I, well, that's a good point. I actually think in this case, um, we've seen in this country all kinds of massive swings from one way to the other. There was a time when Democrats ran everything after the New Deal for decades. That's true. Okay? I happen to think in this case we've sort of reached... Um, peak Republican. And yeah. I think that now we're going to see a healthy introspection and change in the Democratic Party. Look, Bernie Sanders almost won this thing. Let's I know. Don't forget, he was not supposed to show up at all, and he almost won the so nomination. The, I mean, the real election think, rigging was the DNC rigging well, the election against him. Can listen, I ask you a question? That yeah, go ahead. He, I ran, disagree with that. he ran on an economic message. True. That was the only thing he had was an economic I disagree with it, but it was a real message. Trump's and it connected. Yeah, it did. Trump's economic message was, you're getting shafted by a system that's created to exclude you, okay? Very what, similar. What, a very similar. What's the Democratic Party's economic message? I happen to think it's going to be the center of gravity is going to be right where Bernie Sanders was. And, I and where that, Trump was. And where Trump was. That's right. I absolutely think that's true. And listen to me. Here's the thing. Now, the Republicans are in charge of everything, and we get to see, will it work? Donald Trump seems to be naming people that look more like a George W. Bush administration, which didn't turn out too in well. In some ways, yeah. I am kind of hoping that he's a success, because I, I come from a state that's been hammered, Wisconsin, yeah. where I hope people get jobs. But now, the proof is going to be in the pudding. And uh, this is where Democrats like me get to say, okay, you won. You're in charge of everything. All those state houses, all those legislatures, both houses of Congress, the White House. 
let's see you produce. That's that's kind of where we got to be. It's just interesting what you just said. I think you're right. But it's interesting what you just said, that Bernie ran on the system as rigged, Trump ran on the system as rigged, and now Democrats will be stealing Trump's economic message. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I happen to think that Trump stole our economic message. Maybe but he that's did. that's another conversation. David Goodfriend, thanks all for joining us. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you.